Hi everyone, my name is as always Marcin and today I have prepared something for not really advanced users so if you've been on this channel quite long and uh, there's no probably specific reason to watch this video however if you feel you still have some leaks about the basic of Photoshop you have to watch this for sure and everyone who just started with Photoshop all the beginners supposed to watch this video. What I'm going to talk to you today is adjustment layers. I want to explain you how does it work and why you should always use adjustment layers or fill layers instead of applying the effect into your image. So many people do this mistake when we want to apply some effect. Uh, let's go with levels for example and something different. Uh, when we want to apply an effect, let me duplicate this layout first. Control Command J to duplicate this. So most of the people go in through image, not most, but the beginners, and looking for adjustments over here. So I'm going to choose some kind of adjustment. Let's say I'm going with uh, levels. And what is happening, as you can see, we apply in our effect. It's all fine when I play with the levels over here. I set everything as I want. I'm going to choose something soften maybe for this effect. So let me go with, um, let's say, grabbing map. So in this case, it will be the fill layer, graded map or solid color will be fill layer. So I applied the effect, it's not levels, but what is happening here, I'm not applying this separate, I just applied this effect into the layer and of course it's horrible because it affects the pixels that exist on this specific layer, so it affects our image. And if I want to change something, if I just want to remove, for example, some of this effect from this image, I cannot do this. Of course, it looks as it is. It just affected the layer. So when I change the blend mode, of course, it works for the previous layers, but we change the pixels that exist on our image. So that's the wrong way when we do anything. Every time when we apply any kind of adjustments, we should not really do this through image and adjustments. The way you should do this, and now you're going to see why, once again, I'm going to duplicate this, is through our adjustment layers, which exist over here on the panel, if your panel is open on the right side. If not, click this small icon on the bottom and find your adjustment layer. So I'm just going to choose gradient map as before, and I'm going to choose exactly the same gradient map. So I find this, and as you can see on this grand map, the mood is normal. So it's exactly the same as before. However, the difference is we're not affecting our image. We're not affecting this layer number one, but it's over here. So we can change blend mode and it will be, the result will be exactly the same as before. But the difference is I can do everything right now. I can change this every time I want, if I don't like something on this layer, I can choose black color of the brush. And for example, using this layer mask, paint with color black and go back to my previous color. Of course you can do this on your image before, but when you go at some point too far, when you be doing too much, the, the thing is, you will be destroying your image so it's better to keep the adjustments layer separate you have this comfort you don't like this you just don't like this it doesn't have to exist you can replace this anytime and when we go into the layers work with layers we go into affect the pixels it makes quality of our work way lower and for example if you still don't see the problem uh, what is with applying our adjustments into the layer, you can answer the question for yourself, what what happened if you will apply more adjustments to your layer, if you're not applying only gradient map, but when you want to apply, for example, curve, when you apply these two layers, you have 
two separate adjustments into one picture, you cannot split this. So the huge comfort about adjustment layers is that every time we apply new adjustment layer, it's separate to our previous adjustment layer. When you work with the image, actually everything is applying into the one layer so we cannot manipulate. For example, if I think that the gradient map is too strong as well as the curve is too strong a bit, I can set the opacity of my every separate layer. So thank you guys for watching. I hope there was some people that this tutorial was helpful. I believe so. Let me know what you think. Of course, let me know what more you'd like to learn. I'm always happy to hear some feedback from you. I'm always happy to hear what you want to learn and what I can do for you. Don't forget to check the description for my premium videos. If you like them, you can find the links in the description. I give for you some discounts, some really huge discounts if you would be interested. So thank you for watching. I'm going to see you once again very soon in the next Photoshop video tutorial. Thank you.